Terry White, photography evangelist here at Adobe, and it's a Friday afternoon or Friday morning, my time, anyway. Um, and Tuesday, I introduced a video that was called Three New Things That Will Change the Way You Use Lightroom Forever. And it's true. Those were three new things that will change the way you use Lightroom Forever. Quick recap, the link of the video will be in the description of this video. But just for those who hadn't watched it yet, the three things were all the new AI masking for people where you can select automatically their hair, their lips, their teeth, so forth and so on. The new content aware remove tool, which is like the spot healing brush in Photoshop, now in Lightroom. Great. Lightroom Classic. Great. And lastly, the content, I'm sorry, the, um, uh, the object selection method. So we got those three new things in Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. We got one of those new things automatically as a tool on Lightroom Mobile, the Content Aware Remove tool. But what people were asking for in all the comments I saw, hey, I'm on my iPad, I'm on my phone, I'm in Lightroom, I don't see all the new people masking stuff. That would be great to have. It's there, and you're right, you don't see it, but it's there. And this video is going to show you how to access it. So really, you're going to have two of the three things on mobile. You won't have the uh, object selection method yet. We'll wait for the Lightroom team to see what they do with that. But you will have the Content Aware Remove tools already there on your mobile device. And now you're going to have all the people masking. You just need to know how to access it. So I'm going to show you this in Lightroom on desktop. Even if you're a Lightroom Classic user, go ahead and install Lightroom on desktop. You don't have to sync anything. You don't have to do anything with your collection or catalogs or anything. You just need at least one photo to be able to do this with. So put one photo in Lightroom desktop, even if you're a classic user of a person, and I'll show you how this all works. Great. Let's go ahead and switch over now to Lightroom desktop. And I've got the same album of 24 people, I believe, that we used for all the ma or 24 photos that we used for all the masking before. And we're going to say, we'll start with the same one we started with before. The person with the red hair, that was kind of, she had a nice, unique color. And we changed that color to green, and we changed her lips to green to kind of match the background, just playing around. But we're going to now use this photo to create an adaptive preset. Adaptive presets is something we created, or we updated Lightroom for back in June, Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. So that way, if you did a select sky or did a select subject, and you made a preset, the next image that was a different sky or a different subject, it would do the select sky and select subject and make all your adjustments. That's what that's what makes it adaptive. It doesn't matter that you created it on one image. If you use a totally different image, as long as it had a sky or a subject, it would do it. Well, those same adaptive preset capabilities are all, all the people masking AI as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to go to masks. It doesn't have one. It's detecting people. I'm going to click on her. And I'm going to say hair. Go ahead and create a mask for the hair. And there it is. It, it made it. And if I hover over it, it's red, so it's hard to see, but it made the mask. Now I'm going to double click on it just so I know what it is. I'm going to call it hair. All right, great. Now, the difference is, since I'm doing this to make a preset, and I don't know what I want to do to the next person's hair, I'm not going to make any adjustments. I'm just going to create the mask. No adjustments, just the mask. Now, when I head back over to presets, I'm going to go ahead and create a new preset. And I'm going to call this new preset simply hair. But I'm going to put it in a different group. Let's make a new group just for you guys. I'm going to call it uh, Masking 3.0 Cool, so we know which one it is. And uh, let's, let's turn off everything. I don't want it to do light, color effects, or anything. Let's just start with nothing. And then turn back on just the masking. And if you look there, there's the hair mask. So I'm making a preset, an adaptive preset that for every photo I click this preset on, if there's hair, it'll select hair. That's all it does. Then you can make any adjustments you want after that. All this preset will do is the selection, the masking. That's it. So we click save. And the reason I'm having you do this in Lightroom Desktop as opposed to Lightroom Classic is because Lightroom Desktop automatically syncs any presets you create to your mobile devices. You don't have to do anything else. I just created it. I wait. I, I just saw the sync button go away like it's finished syncing. And now I'm going to head over to my iPad where hopefully the sync has updated. I think it's doing it right as we speak. It just finished. I'm going to head over to my iPad and now we're going to 
try it out. So let's switch to the iPad now. And in the iPad, you can see I've got the same 24 photos. Now, we already know that we used it on the person, uh, the first person with the red hair. So that's what, let's pick a different person. This way we'll know if it works. So I'm gonna pick this bride image that I used back in back last October, a year ago, when I was introducing the new um, select subject. So now it's basically her, and I'm gonna to go to my presets. Presets is actually a button in Lightroom on mobile. So I'm gonna to go to my presets, not my user presets. I'm gonna to go to yours, and there it is, a new group called Masking 3.0 Cool with one, one uh, preset in it. So I select that, and I'm just gonna tap hair. Now you see what it says, detecting people. So it's the architecture is there, it's built in, it's underneath, it's in the, under the hood. So if you did do a mask on your desktop, that mask would still work on mobile. So it has to, like the architecture is there under the hood, you just don't have the UI for it. Now that that's been done, all I have to do is say done, tap done, then head over to the masking feature and there's my mask. It's automatically selected her hair. So now I can go in, I can see a little piece of hair that it missed right there near the bottom, near the earring. And I can add to that mask if I want to, but let's see what it does even if I don't add to it. Let's go to color and let's do a local hue, just like we did with the other person, we change the color of the hair. And sure enough, it's leaving out that little piece right there. No problem because AI is not perfect. It's, I don't know if AI will ever be perfect on every single photo, but it did a really great job getting most of the hair <laughs> and all I had to do is paint in the rest. Well, luckily, with any mask that you create, you can always add to that mask. So I can just tap the Add and Subtract button here. I can add to hair. I'm going to use the brush. And then I'm going to say, um, yeah, that's the one I want to add. I'm just going to go ahead and brush it in. Let's zoom in and see if I'm doing a good job here with my brushing. I'm just using my finger. There we go. And we'll just add to that hair mask. So now if I make an adjustment, that part of the hair gets adjusted as well. So it worked. Okay, great. So now I can hit done and I've got a mask, non-destructive of her hair that I can always come back to and make changes to. So you need to go into Lightroom right now as we speak and make a preset for hair, lips, eye scolar, pupil and iris, um, body skin and face skin. Put them in a group and then on your mobile device, whenever you need to select someone's lips or teeth or whatever, just tap that preset and then go in and use it. And by the way, you can use multiple presets because they don't, as long as you're making one for each thing, they don't knock each other out. So if I needed to select her body skin right now, I would go back to my presets and I would go back to the ones I've already created under masking and I would choose body skin and body skin will apply. And so now if I say done, done, and I come back to masking, there's her body skin. And now I can do whatever I need to do to her body skin, lighten it, dark it, soften it, whatever. So this is awesome. The technology's there. You just don't have the UI to create one from scratch. But if you go do all your presets, there won't be very many times where you need to do one from scratch because you just use the preset and it will just do it for you for every single person that you do. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope hopefully this helps and answers that question. Hey, that stuff's missing on my on my iPad. Hey, that stuff's missing on my phone. No problem. Just go create your presets first. Let them sync. Then you'll have them all on your phone. You have them all on your iPad, and away you go. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Catch you later. We'll